what I have here is a Hunter irrigation panel. This panel went bad on me last year. I have it set up as a five zone system and it's inconsistent in terms of keeping time and also when the system goes uh, off and when it comes on. So I'm gonna be replacing it with a Rainbird panel. This is the Rainbird panel I be, will be replacing the Hunter with. And this Rainbird panel is the model number SST600IN and this is a six zone system and this is made for indoor use. This actually is installed in my garage, so this will be replacing the Hunter. One thing I want to point out before we get started, as you'll note, um, we have several wires that are coming in here for the various zones and then also the power and the rain sensors at the top there. You want to take particular note of the uh, position of each of these wires uh, based on the color and you want them to be placed in the same position in the box because this will determine what zones you you're going to be um, applying water to and the same thing with the power and the rain sensor so I've already taken a photo with my phone to get uh, a photo of the positions of the various wires so now I will remove this box so the first thing we're going to do is get rid of the hunter so let's take this down right now and I need to unplug it first The first thing we're going to do is remove the wires from the, each of the terminals. Now that we have the wires released from the terminals, we will remove the panel. This hole is somewhat big, so I'm going to uh, put this insert in so it'll uh, be nice and snug when I set it up. Tighten it just a bit more. Okay, that's perfect. Now we'll put the one in the bottom.
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is uh, get my wires set up. Uh, I'm going to remove this tab. And I'm going to get my wires set up. And again, uh, your system may be different. I'm going to uh, install the zones or set the zones up exactly as they were in the old system. And this system is pretty easy. The only thing you do is press this little green tab here and the wire can be inserted uh, once you press that. And tug and it's secure. Okay, the number four zone is in. Okay, the number three zone is set. The number two zone is now set. The number one zone now is set. The common wire is now set. This is the AC power adapter, and it's pretty simple to install this. It just plugs right into the two terminals there, so I'll install that right now. Okay that is installed. Okay for the rain sensor it goes right here so I'll have to remove this jumper from uh, this port here. I'll cut this wire back just a little bit. Okay, I got the first side in, and the other side is in. Have everything secure. Um, I have to buy a, a clamp to stabilize that to the wall, which uh, I don't have one at the moment, but I will purchase one soon. And I will install the cover back on it. And now I'm going to plug it in. you can see it power right up. The first thing I will do is set the time and it is exactly 5.09 p.m.
Okay, the time is now set. Now we'll set the date. Today is the 22nd of March, 2020. And what I will do now is set up my zone. Um, I may change this later, but for now I'm just going to set it up for odd and even days. So it'll water uh, once a day, uh, every other day. And then I will also set the run time for each zone. So for zone two, I am going to set up for 10 minutes and zone 2 I will set for 20 minutes and zone 3 I will set for 15 minutes Zone 4, I will set for 20 minutes. And finally, Zone 5, I will set for 15 minutes. Okay, I have all the zones set up. Uh, set to start every other day and uh, now I will set the time for it to start. Uh, I'm going to set it to start in the morning. Right now it's set for uh, 8 a.m. and I'm going to set it for 6 a.m. Okay, I'm going to shut the um, zone off right now and just disable this completely, turn it off. But as you can see, uh, that's it. Uh, pretty easy setup. It does appear somewhat intimidating, but uh, as you notice, it was pretty easy. Uh, all, only thing I had to do was uh, attach the wires to the correct zone, and I got my panel all set up and programmed, and it's ready to go. So I should not have any issues at all uh, in terms of uh, irrigating my lawn uh, in the coming months. Okay, what I'm going to do is test the system. I'm going to run uh, zone number two. Um, I have work to do on zone number one. One of my heads well, went bad and I need to replace it. So I'm just going to do a quick test on zone number two now. And to do that, uh, basically you just put it on zone two there and then you hold this button here, which the light uh, starts up. It has started up. That's one of my heads there. Two more over there. And as you can see, it's working great. So very successful setup. Uh, again, pretty easy. So that's it. I hope this video was helpful to you. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments.